preheating your furnace or force. There's times where you just want something, you want to have elements of a barbecue, but you don't have the time. And so that's where gas barbecues become incredibly useful, incredibly popular. The problem for me though, all the gas barbecues I've ever used are just never hot enough. Most gas barbecues that I've ever experienced end up almost kind of steaming the meat that you cook. Now I'd like to introduce you to the furnace. Fire it up. The hood is aluminium, conducts incredibly well. The actual the fat that these corners, they're rounded, create really efficient, powerful conduction heat inside. And then you've got a gauge, but this gives you a gauge for the temperature inside. Incredibly controllable heat. Here, you can control just small adjustments. So it gives you much more control because you've got that power. So if I just turn these on now, they're now all on. And this is the really key thing for this barbecue. There is so much energy that comes through here. The way that these tubes are designed, the plates are designed and the lid is designed, is to create this confection heat. Because that heat in the, the heat in the air that's in this lid when it's closed will continue to heat these plates. So shut that and it'll get up to a very high temperature in very little time. And in fact, you can see my hands on this lid. I would suggest that that's about the longest I want to keep it on there because it will get very hot. You can look at the temperature now. It'll rock it. Now you can see already how quickly that heat's gone up. And that's hot. That is hot. That's, pr that's pretty much near max. You don't really want to get it any more than that. So I've got my steak ready. I've got a beautiful uh, ribeye here, just given a coating of oil and seasoning. Now you can see how hot that is. Instantly, as I put that on the grill, you can, s you can see that's charring now. And then flip it. All, it's only been on there for like 10 seconds, and I've already got those charred grill marks. But the result is amazing. You get such an even cook on the steak. And I've never come across this before on a gas barbecue.